were pleasantly shocking. Both NFL Network and ESPN reported that it's not a sure thing that Jerry Jones will renegotiate and extend Dak Prescott's contract. Now, Dak cannot be franchise tagged. He also has a no trade clause. So Keyshawn, could this mean that Jerry will bite that bullet and let Dak play out the final year of his contract at a massive $59.5 million? I think it would be foolish if they were to do such a thing, especially if you are all in, like you said, at the end of the season when you got bounced to the playoffs that you coming back yep. all in. Mm -hmm. So if you, you are going to re-sign or try to extend, better yet, C.D. Lamb and Michael Parsons, I would think that you would need some cap relief. To have a guy play on a $60 million yep. cap number, which his base salary I think is close to $30 million, so it's a $30 million real number of cash, but a $60 million round up yeah, number to the salary cap. If you want that to happen, you probably are going to struggle to be able to sign players or retain your own players, extend players that are going to want money. Yeah. CeeDee Lamb is not looking to go into 2024 in September playing in, in hopes of getting an extension after the season. And I'm sure Michael Parsons isn't either. Guys, one thing that they want, they want the damn money, Skip. And they want it early. They don't want to have to wait. Yeah. So when you look at that, if the Cowboys are smart, they can restructure Dak Prescott's deal and get themselves about $18, $19 million of relief sure. by just doing a simple restructuring without extending. Okay, but the downside is you're on the hook for three or four more years. If you extend it, mm -hmm. yes. But you can just simply take the $59 plus million dollars of cap space, restructure it, turn it into signing bonus. Mm -hmm. So now you're guaranteeing, you're already guaranteeing a 30. Now take and put whatever else on top of it, another 18. So you basically can give him $48 million of real cash. Are you willing to okay. do that? Okay, but, but if you let him walk next year, okay, after this season, you let him walk, your ass is gonna be in trouble mm. because you gotta be able to replace him. Yeah. And if you replace him, with a Trey Lance or Cooper Rush, or maybe there's somebody out maybe. there that I'm not thinking about in free agency 2025 that I'm not thinking about right now that you may be able to sign for less money. You're not going to get the same guy. On top of that, what Dallas Cowboy quarterback has ever left the building without finishing their career as a Dallas Cowboy? And I'm talking about the ones that we talk about, mm -hmm. the Roger Starbacks of the world, the... Uh, Troy, uh, Troy Aikens, yeah. the Romos, those are the ones I'm talking about. And even though he hasn't won a championship, when you talk about quarterbacks of the Dallas Cowboys, his name is mentioned. As hard as it may feel to you, Skip, mm. it's still mentioned with those guys yeah, that won championships. So I don't necessarily see Cowboys letting their guy walk out the building next season when this year is over with and he becomes a unrestricted free agent because they can't tag him. So he walks out the building. Are you, willing to, are you willing to do that? After you groomed, drafted, brought him up, raised him, made him, turned him into what he is? Mm -hmm. Why would you do that for somebody else? That doesn't make a whole lot of damn sense. Mm. Why would you do it? Okay, my turn. I'm on record as saying I have seen enough of Dak Prescott. All I know is my goals are higher than losing a playoff game at winning the division and losing a playoff game. I have seen him three straight times in big playoff games, home against San Francisco, at San Francisco, home against Green Bay, stink in all three games. Shockingly stink, where he just looked overmatched. He looked overwhelmed by the... They the, all the, looked. The sort of the hugeness of they the situation, all, they all right? Look, they all yeah. look overwhelmed. Okay, but in the second quarter against Green Bay, he threw two, uh, late first quarter, and then second quarter, he throws, throws a pick six. And he it's did. 27 to nothing before halftime. I've never seen anything like it before. At some point, you have to reorder priorities and say, well, do, do we want to go win a Super Bowl or do we just want to maybe steal the division? Do we want to win 12 games for three straight years? Because that's what they did, and they have zero to show for it, as you well know. If your goal is to get back to the, your first NFC Championship game in 29 years, get back to your first Super Bowl in however many, 30-plus years. So I told you I have seen enough, and I have seen the 49ers say, Jimmy G, that's not enough. 
He was up 20 to 10 mid fourth quarter, and they just said, you know what? We can do bit this is a Super Bowl, 20 to 10 in the Super Bowl. And they just said, he's not good enough for, to, for us to achieve our goals. And they go out and spend three first round picks and a second round pick, third round pick, I guess it was, to go get Trey Lance. Yes. And then. How did that work out? Okay. Well, we never know. We, we don't know how that worked how, out. It, it, it because, didn't work out the way they wanted to, Skip, because, because they somebody got fell the... into their lap with the but, last pick in the draft named Brock Purdy. You want to talk about hitting the lottery? That has never happened. So, so you're suggesting that the Dallas Cowboys should do what yep. the 49ers did. Absolutely. Go find a dude at the bottom of the seventh round just and hope go, and pray. You just go find somebody. You start over. You change your scenery. You change your luck. You start fresh but, with somebody but, else. And but, by the way, okay, two things, two quick things about this no, past weekend. On Friday, Jerry did a big sit down in the the bus is, is a, up, up at the combine with all the reporters. And he raved about Dak Prescott. That's why this shocked me when this came out on Saturday. And he said, the what is reason, there not to rave about? Okay, he said, the reason I'm all in is because we have Dak Prescott at quarterback. So he made Dak the reason that he's all in. And I'm like, that, that should be the last reason that you're all in. Dak and Mike McCarthy. <laughs> you, okay? No? You're crazy. No, I'm smart. And I... I know Dallas Cowboy history, and I lived through Don Meredith and Roger Staubach. And oh, I forgot about Troy that. Man. Yeah, you can go all the way back to him. And to your point, you made a good point. None of those guys finished elsewhere. No, None of them. I, did Danny no. White even finish no, elsewhere? No, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Maybe he went somewhere, but I can't remember. But he got them to three straight NFC Championship games, but they lost all three of them. But at yeah. least they were getting to the precipice. No, I right? understand that part. And in the end, he just wasn't quite Roger Staubach because whoever was... Right? Like, okay. So the point is, Jerry is raving about Dak on, on that day, but he also raved about Trey Lance. He went way out of his way to say, we love what he's done so far. He's a great young man, which we already knew. He's a hard worker, which we already knew, because even the Shanahan's always said he's a gym rat, man. I mean, he comes early, stays late, studies tape like nobody we've ever seen. Okay, gotcha on all that. But Jerry said his development with us has been shocking, that, that we love how quickly he's progressed. Okay. Okay, so you can bet on this. You know Jerry's negotiating at this point, too, yeah. right? Okay, well, he, he, you, you can say, but sometimes he just what blurts. What do you mean? What he do just you mean? Blurts I out. can say, that's what you yeah. do. You, you leave a little breadcrumbs, you, yeah. you kind of dangle some things out there for people could to be. see. You, could you could be don't right. think Dak Prescott is looking at that right. and going, yeah. huh, he's talking about Trey Lance. Yeah, okay, fine. But Dak has never done any favors for Jerry. He took no hometown discount because he no, knew he had Jerry to. way over but a barrel. But you're not supposed to take a, home okay. down, well, look, yeah. a hometown discount yeah. in your first renegotiation on a major blockbuster deal. Do you remember how long that went? It went yeah. two years. Average That's moves. okay. Yeah. Because Ooh. I'm not taking... I, 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 I'm on a fourth-round rookie contract mm -hmm. making the max I probably made. I don't even know the numbers, but the max he probably made is $2.5 million, and that was at the end of it. Yep. Then he got tagged to make mm -hmm. more, and then obviously tagged to make more. Why would I give you a hometown discount on my first... Okay. Renegotiation. Okay. Now, this renegotiation, we can have a conversation. Okay. If Jerry believes so deeply in Dak Prescott, why didn't he do it two years before he did it this last time? Because maybe because at he that wasn't point in sure. time, may, maybe at that point in time, he wasn't sure. Yeah, he was. Okay. Not sure. Because all of a sudden, <laughs> you're looking at him. He's coming off an injury. You don't know what that ankle's going to be. No. Nope. You've got to dissect and pay attention to everything. You got to look at him out there. You got to get the information from the training staff. Will he be able, Dr. Cooper's got to be able to say he, he's going to 100% be Dak Prescott again. You can't just sign a guy. So Skip. he waited and he waited yes. until the 11th hour, yeah. like bitterly. So to he the, spent a few yeah. more million dollars. And he spent a whole lot more million dollars. Yeah. And he said at the press conference when they announced the deal that he took me to the cleaners. And he didn't, you could just tell, I know Jerry. And he did not love it because he lost but that, that, was that his, negotiation. But that was his bet. Mm -hmm. His bet was, no. I'm not going to pay him right now. I'm going to wait. Going to wait. And he waited and, and he, he had stuck. to pay more. He just 